Hello everyone, I'm TG and I'm here to talk to you about the amazing multiplayer experience that is Evil Dead the game. Today I want to show you guys a build for one of my favorite survivors and that is Scotty. Just Scotty, no last name, he's like Cher. This build, it's going to make it so you can take on just about any possessed unit or any unit really in the game, lick the split. You're going to be doing maximum dismemberment damage, maximum balance bar damage, and just a whole chunk of regular damage as well. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you where I spent my points, explain why I spent them there, and show you guys some clips in-game of how they work. So first and foremost, I'm putting three points into the last word. This is going to cause the last hit of my combo to be increased by a whopping 50% damage. So a lot of times I like to end my combos on a heavy attack because obviously heavy attacks do more damage anyway, and this is just going to bring that even further. In fact, when it comes to doing dismemberment damage and balance bar damage, I find a lot of heavy attacks are the best for that. So you're really going to get a lot out of this one. Next, I'm putting a full four points into Devastating Force, which is going to give me a flat melee increase of 15% damage. And I'm putting three into Cutting Blows, which is going to increase my dismemberment damage of melee weapons by 30%, as well as two into Razor's Edge, which is going to increase dismemberment damage of sharp weapons by another 30%. So why that's important is because those two stack, and what I'm going to be using most of the time is a Lumberjack Axe, because not only is that just one of the best weapons in the game, but Scotty can bring it to the next level because of some skills that he has. And then we're moving like a butterfly, but we're stinging like a bee with three points to increase our light melee attacks by 15%. Next, three points goes into seeing stars, which increases the balance damage from melee attacks by 25%. And then we got to put one in blunt force trauma to get to the next part. That's only going to increase blunt weapon balance bar damage by 15%, but we need that because we need three in heavy hitter, which increase damage with melee heavy attacks by 15%. So that was a lot of information, but don't worry, we're going to be crunching the numbers. But before we do, don't forget to put three points into Tougher Than Hell, because that's going to give you a damage reduction of 10%. And that's really the best thing you can do with your last three points. There's nowhere else that you're really going to want to put them. Plus, it doesn't hurt to be a little bit more chonky. Now, when it comes to the nitty gritty, what we're looking at is an overall increase to our light attacks by 30%, our heavy attacks by 30%, our balance bar damage by 25% and our sharp dismemberment damage by 60%. And then the final hit of your combo with a light attack or heavy attack will also be increased by another 80%. So basically what that means is that Scotty is the goddamn goat. He does so much damage and he's so much fun to play. And you never really need to worry about your fear whenever you're playing as Scotty. You never really need to worry about your health because he's got great defense. You never really have to worry about anything except taking down the Deadites. So before we go, let's talk about what makes Mr. Scotty so unique. His Thunder Thrust ability can be used every 30 seconds, which is crazy fast, and it does 100 damage to all the enemies around you in a radius, and it actually knocks them back as well. So 100 doesn't seem like a lot of damage, and frankly, it's not. However, this is really good for knocking people off the book. It's really good for knocking people off whenever you're trying to resurrect your teammates, etc. So it's a really useful move. It's kind of similar to Leader Ash and his dismemberment bar damage aura that he has, but frankly, I kind of think Scotty's is a little bit better because it does do damage. And then talking about AOE, he's got collateral damage. So in about a 10 foot radius, you're gonna be doing 13% extra heavy attack damage to all the enemies around you whenever you're using a heavy attack. So as you can imagine, with all the increases that we're getting, that's big damage. That starts adding up whenever you get swarmed. Whenever you're swarmed on objectives, whenever you run into a pesky necromancer and all his dirty little skeletons, you see where I'm going. Then we get to exposure therapy. And this right here, a lot of people sleep on this one. Every time you kill an enemy, you reduce your fear by five. Now that alone, that's not a big value, but it does add up. And frankly, this alone makes me not really have to worry too much about my fear whenever I'm playing Scotty, unless I'm getting swarmed specifically by the demon. But typically, no matter who I play, I put my points into like fear reduction right away. Uh, probably shouldn't always do that, but I do. Uh, so I never really have to worry whenever I'm playing as Scotty. I can always focus on the task at hand. And finally, we come to Weapon Master Lumberjack Axe. Now, typically, whenever you see a Weapon Master, it doesn't really like make or break what you're gonna do in the match. But when it comes to this build specifically and what we're doing, I would say you're gonna always want a Lumberjack Axe because of all the extra dismemberment and such that we have on it, you're gonna get even more out of the Weapon Mastery because you're gonna attack faster and the Lumberjack Axe is quite slow, but it's also gonna increase your damage, balance bar damage, and dismemberment damage. So all of it goes together 
and pretty much just makes this big giant mess for the demon to deal with, and he's not gonna have a good time. So boys and girls, that's the build. It's a quick one, it's an easy one, doesn't have a high skill cap. Anyone can do it. It's really good if you want to take on those possessed basic units that we're seeing a lot of now. But other than that, it's just good across the board anyway, because all you need to worry about is doing that damage. And frankly, a lot of the times, the hardest thing you're going to find you're doing in the match is finding a Lumberjack Axe. Finding a Lumberjack Axe that you love. So remember, anytime you're playing and there's a Scotty on your team, if you find a Lumberjack Axe, ping it for him or bring it to him. He's going to thank you. You're going to thank yourself. <laughs> so that's the build. I hope it helps you guys out just a little bit. Let me know down below what you think, what you would change, why you love Scotty, because he really is the best. And as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do.